Hi and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how I mix my ground bait to target mullet predominantly fishing with a feeder but this also works when targeting mullet in shallow water and using bread on the surface but um, this is predominantly for for feeder fishing in estuaries for mullet that are feeding down on the bottom so it's quite simple I've got one kilo bag of brown crumb I've got a tin of sardines in sunflower oil I like the oil um, the oil the sunflower oil then mixes with the sardine oil um, and it really spreads well in the water I've got a tin of sardine in, and tomato paste there's a lot of fish in that there's salmon sardine I think there's um, sprats as well in that and oil and um, once mixed in that again gives off a nice oily scent and then at the fish counter I bought some sardines so I've wrapped some sardines to keep us bait and I've put two sardines in there that are not that great a condition and I've also put about 12 sprats in the bag so let's show you how I mix this up to make a good ground bait for mullet right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the tin of sardines like so and in the bucket that I'm going to mix ground bait here I'm going to tip the oil out of that tin. Once that's nearly drained, doesn't have to be perfect, those sardines are going to go in that bag with what's with the sprats and the other two sardines. I'm then going to open the tin of uh, paste and then just with my finger I'm going to get this paste out, put this paste into this bag as well. You're going to have to get your hands dirty doing this anyway so just have a rag next to you to wipe them off. That can go in there. Get it all out best you can. If you don't want to get your hands dirty always use a knife. There we go, most of that's out of there. Lovely. The next thing to do is to seal this first bag into a second bag because what we're going to do, we're going to squash that all up so we can wrap that up like so and then with your hands and do it over the bucket in case it spits you can just mash that all up you can feel it Feel the sardine heads in there, you can give them a good squish. Nothing's going to come out of that, hopefully. And then you can keep going and it should all mix together. And you should just should end up feeling like a paste in your hand. I think we're there and the beauty of using I mean sardine it's got a good scent trail but sardines and sprats are very soft so they uh, break down very well you can also um, if you've got old worm you can also use some old worm in there as well so there we are that's all in there you open this bag up tip this out And then you can see just a mush of fish in there. There was a little bit of spilt out in there. Get that out. Like so. Now, all we need to do is add the brown crumb. All 
all that round crumb can go in. Like so. Now time to get your hands nice and dirty again. You want to mix that through, breaking up any other bits you haven't broken up, rolling it between your fingers. Now that crumb is going to absorb all that oil. When that goes in the water, that gets released. And as you, if you've ever cast out a sardine, a mackerel bait, you can see the, the slick that it leaves when it hits the water. That spreads a long way. That scent will attract the mullet in. So just rubbing this through now, making sure that there's no big lumps in there. Like, I don't want a full head or anything like that. I want it smaller than that. Making sure all the bits around the edges are done. Just ripping up any bits. Right, now that's still a little bit dry there. So, I'm gonna add some water. Right, I'm gonna add some water, but I'm gonna do it bit by bit just so I don't over soak this ground bait. There's a bit, let's mix that around, see what that does. I don't want this too wet. It's not far off now. I mean, that's actually probably just about right. I might put a tiny bit more in there. Get down the edges, get all this a few dry spots. And a tiny bit more. I think that's probably about 200 mil I've put in there. And I'm quite pleased with that. Just make sure it's all mixed. There's no lumps in there. I mean, no big fish lumps. It's, uh, yeah, that's a good mix there. That breaks down quite easily, but it forms balls. And it'll go in a feeder quite well. So I'm pleased with that. That's a good mix there. And that can be used for targeting mullet using a feeder and I'll show you the setup now very simple for how I target mullet feeding on the bottom so here is the rig that I would use alongside this ground bait to target feeding mullet so I've got a cage feeder here um, that swivels on my main line and the main line is just 15 pound mono. I've then got a rubber stop bead there. Then goes to a size eight barrel swivel with a ring. And then after that, I've got two foot of fluorocarbon. That's 12 pound fluorocarbon to a size six hook that's a quarter mixer size six hook micro barbed and that's it I would fill this up with a ground bait mix and on the end of that I would use a pinch of a roll or a croissant um, something that's a bit sticky uh, doughy wise um, you could use a slice of bread but um, I tend to go with a roll Bit of a roll a bit better than, uh, than slices of bread and that's it um, we then fish this short to medium range trying to attract the mullet in close with your ground bait mix hoping to pick up a decent mullet hope this video has helped please subscribe to the channel